So this problem involves both the chain rule and the product rule. So the first one, um, so g prime of x is going to be equal to, so I'm going to have 1 plus 4x raised to the fifth prime times, I'll take the derivative of, derivative of that, 3 plus x minus x squared raised to the eighth plus uh, 1 plus 4x raised to the fifth um, times 3 plus x minus x squared raised to the eighth prime. Okay, um, so what happens here is the derivative on the inside, so we're going to have 5 times derivative, derivative on the inside is 4, and then 1 plus 4x raised to the fourth, and then 3 plus x minus x squared raised to the eighth. All right, and then over here, 1 plus 4 x raised to the fifth, and then we have, um, oh, hold on, I'm going to take the derivative on the inside, so times um, quantity 1 minus 2 x times 8, because that's what bringing the exponent down, and actually I made, oh wait, I didn't make a mistake, mistake back there. Um, Okay, and then this becomes 3 plus x minus x squared raised to the seventh. Um, and I don't know how far we want to multiply this out, but um, let's see here. So 20 So 20, 1 plus 4x raised to the 4th, 3 plus x minus x squared raised to the 8th, plus 1 plus 4x raised to the 5th times 1 minus 2x times 8, 3 plus x minus x squared raised to the 7th. All right, that's it. This could be simplified down more probably, but um, it's just a lot of work. That, that, that should be fine.